Mama Bear's Reading Den. Welcome. Hello, little cubs, and welcome back to Mama Bear's Reading Den. I'm Mama Bear, and I'm very happy to have you here with me today. We have another classic Christmas book that I'll be reading to you today. It's called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and it's one of my favorite stories of all time. I hope you'll enjoy it too. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Chris Brethwaite, illustrated by Adam Record, published by Hallmark. Far to the north, beyond all the hustle and bustle of civilization, is a frozen wonderland of joy and delight. The locals call it Christmas Town, but you and I know it by its more common name, the North Pole, home to Santa and Mrs. Claus and all the elves and reindeer. It was one morning not so very long ago when Santa's reindeer Donner and his wife welcomed a son into the world. They named him Rudolph. At first, Donner was as proud of his son as any dad could be, but he soon realized that Rudolph was different from all the other reindeer. His nose, instead of being black, glowed a bright red. Donner was afraid that Rudolph's red nose would someday keep him from pulling Santa's sleigh. He wanted his son to follow in his hoof prints, so he came up with a solution. He made a special covering for Rudolph's nose. To Donner's delight, it fit Rudolph perfectly. Why, you look like a chip off the old antlers, he said to his son. Rudolph hated wearing the nose, but he did it to make his dad happy. When all the bucks were old enough, they were invited to participate in reindeer games. It was the perfect opportunity to be noticed by Santa. While Rudolph was waiting his turn, he met a beautiful young doe named Clarice. She had soft brown fur and big brown eyes. Rudolph just stood there looking at her. But his thoughts of love were soon interrupted when the reindeer coach shouted, Rudolph, you're up next! Rudolph started running, and with a quick jump, he was soon airborne. He flew higher and farther than any of the other bucks. Everyone, including Santa, was amazed at how well he was doing. When he landed, all the other reindeer greeted him. But his joy was not to last. One of the other reindeer accidentally knocked off his fake nose. At first, there was a stunned silence, but soon everyone started laughing and calling him names. Stop calling me names, Rudolph shouted, but it didn't do any good. Rudolph had never felt so hurt and embarrassed in his life. He hung his head, turned around, and walked away. Many months passed until finally it was Christmas Eve. Everyone rushed around preparing for Santa's big sleigh trip. Suddenly, an elf ran up to Santa and handed him an urgent weather report. There was going to be a terrible storm, and Christmas would have to be cancelled. Santa gathered everyone in Christmas Town together, and just as he was about to announce the bad news, Rudolph's red nose started glowing. Santa thought for a moment, and then, with a big smile on his face, he said, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? It will be an honor, sir, replied Rudolph. Christmas was back on and Rudolph did a wonderful job guiding Santa's sleigh. And that's why Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is the most famous reindeer of all. Well, little cubs, what did you think of today's story? Don't you just love Rudolph's story? It has so many fun characters that I've remembered since when I was a little cub myself. And I love this story because it shows you that a little misfit can be a hero in the end. What was your favorite part of the story? I love that part as well. I hope you'll be here with me tomorrow when we read another Christmas story together. Until then, have a great day. Bye.